Welcome to my exhibition, The Art of Storytelling. It was my debut exhibition as an artist. The first object you see after having climbed four flights of stairs is a rounded mirror, welcoming you into the exhibition. Moving inside the tower room, you are confronted by a massive image of President Barack Obama, paralleled with a framed copy of the Arnolfini portrait by Jan van Eyck from 1434. The men's stands are identical. Both are portrayed with one hand raised in confirmation, the other hand reveals its reference. When I was studying history of art, the Arnolfini portrait quickly became a favorite of mine. Every history of art book has its own understanding of the painting story. Some believe it's a marriage portrait, with the artist and the other man portrayed in the mirror behind, serving as witnesses. Others believe it served as a legal document of Arnolfini giving his wife the right to run the home while he was away on business. It is difficult for us to fully understand what is taking place in the painting and to draw any final conclusions. However, one thing we do know for certain is that Arnolfini is here giving a promise. The image of President Barack Obama is from our history, and we know what it refers to, the inauguration of his presidency. Even though we know he also is giving a promise, we do not know of what his future and of what his promises will entail. This is the local newspaper in Lucca, Italy. Lucca is the hometown of Arnolfini. I found Obama on the front page when I was there this summer and thought that this was a nice little link between Arnolfini and Obama. In Renaissance paintings, fruit had a symbolic meaning. In the Arnolfini portrait, Van Eyck includes oranges as a symbol for fertility. In my exhibition, I include pineapple, the contemporary symbol of hospitality as a reference to Obama's hospitality of his surrounding world. Amongst the pineapple are books, books which I know Obama has read. I further link Renaissance painting and motifs to our present day. Take, for instance, this image, a painting by Uccello entitled The Battle of San Romano. Through the use of symbols, a Renaissance man would know which battle this image refers to, one of the various battles between Florence and Siena a battle of territory. Likewise, today, the photographs above are easy for us to understand based on our knowledge of the symbols. For example, the Star of David. It is the battles between Israel and Palestine, also a war of territory. Next image is a painting by the Phanaic brothers, The Last Judgment. Here we see heaven and hell. I have linked this image to a photo of the White House when it was being repaired after a natural disaster. If we continue the line dividing heaven and hell in the Van Eyck into the White House photograph, it divides the White House from its foundation. The White House is like heaven, majestic, beautiful, while the foundation is like hell, chaotic, elements of destruction. Moving along. Here we come to a point in Renaissance art where the artist here takes the god Bacchus off of his previous pedestal and betrays him almost like a monster. Bacchus's companions are distracting the bees so they can steal their honey. A little like New York Magazine's portrayal of the monstrous Madoff who distracted his investors to steal their money. Men of Power in the Renaissance painting, The Two Ambassadors by Hans Holbein, we see two men of power and of knowledge. They are educated in earthly and heavenly matters. The interior is draped in wonderful fabrics. However, seen at an angle, a stretched skull pierces through the image. Darkness lies within. Likewise, the photographs around the painting are of contemporary important men and of agreements and meetings in which Israel and the USA were present. Promises were made and smiling faces are portrayed. However, behind it, from our knowledge of the current world, there is darkness in form of war and broken promises. The final comparison I make between Renaissance storytelling and today's is the Renaissance painting of San Sebastian 
compared with two images of Obama. The Renaissance artist portrayed San Sebastian with errors through his body, his martyrdom. This would assist the Renaissance man in establishing which martyr was being portrayed. How are we to portray Obama? I use two contradictory images here, one of Obama as the Joker and one of Obama as the bringer of hope, some attacking him, others placing him on a pedestal. In every corner there is a lamp with a country stitched onto it, Iran, Iraq, and Afghanistan, three troubled areas. In the Renaissance, light was a symbol of the all-seeing God. Here, it refers to truth. And the switching off and on of the lamps refers to my insecurity of what the truth is in these countries. On the desk, there is a floor plan of the White House and its surrounding gardens. A black cloud of spilled ink is hovering above nearby. Is it coming closer or moving away? It is hard to tell. There is also a Bible with American coins on top, referring to the spiritual versus the material worlds. Inside the drawer is a stone block with a cross chiseled into it. We can faintly seem to make out that it is a cross. This refers to the many discussions around Obama's faith, the constant stabbing into the stone to prove one's faith. Thank you for virtually visiting my exhibition. Welcome back.